I want to do a brief detour into the lymphatic system. This is a whole separate chapter in your book that we aren't going to talk about. We're not going to do it justice, um, but I at least want to give it um, a little bit of credit, a little bit of time. So the lymphatic system came up in the last video because we talked about how at the capillaries, um, all throughout circulation, filtration occurs at slightly higher rates um, and quantity volume than reabsorption. So basically we have, as part of that microcirculation of the capillaries, excess fluid leaving the, the circulation, the blood circulation. The lymphatic capillaries pick this fluid up and prevent swelling in those tissues. Um, the lymphatic system actually returns that liquid, which is lymph in between um, when it's not blood, when it out of, out of the interstitial fluid gets picked up by the lymphatic system, it's a lymph. Lymph travels through the lymphatic system. This is obviously a little oversimplified. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the names of these things besides lymph node, you may recognize that name. These nodes that contain um, structures that help to filter the lymph. Um, Ultimately, the lymph is returned back into the venous system to become part of circulation again. So that's a really good way to maintain our um, fluid volume of our, our blood pressure, really, and blood volume. So that's how we saw lymphatic system doing in the previous video. Here's a nice kind of zoom in of what that looks like in terms of capillaries, interstitial cells, tissue cells, and lymphatic capillaries. However, um, there's other lymphatic organs in addition to just these vessels and nodes. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about some of them. And there's some lymphatic organs that have like primary lymph function and some that have secondary. So I'm actually like, I'm not even gonna, there's probably, it's kind of like the endocrine system where you could argue that any organ is endocrine. A lot of your tissues have um, immune function as well. So I'm just gonna hit kind of some of the big ones. So some of the big ones are shown here. Lymph nodes, where I talked about those cleanse lymph. There's also, um, so lymphocytes are a type of leukocyte and they are um, proliferate in these lymph nodes. Another one you'll see here is the spleen. You saw the spleen in the rat, um, very red. It had a lot of blood. So the spleen is a site of filtering and cleaning of blood. Um, lymphocytes are activated, activated and proliferate, um, also stores a bunch of stuff, iron, monocytes, and platelets. Um, so various functions with some of them being immune. We've got the thymus. This was on top of the heart that you saw in the, the rat. You had to cut through it to get to those vessels, the great vessels when we looked at the, the rat heart. The thymus is important for T cells, so thymus T cells, so a type of lymphocyte that are activated um, mature in the, in the thymus, so primarily immune function. There's some others here, so tonsils you may have heard of, they actually contain um, lymph, lymphatic tissue. However, people also um, have the tonsils removed and don't seem to have any altered immune function. Um, and then I think the last one I wanna point out here, actually I should have said this first, bone marrow. Why do I have this here? Red bone marrow is the site of um, synthesis of all blood cells. So not just red blood cells, but leukocytes as well. So leukocytes are um, first born here. These, these divide and proliferate throughout development. One type of leukocytes is lymphocytes. Um, lymphocytes include some cells that are important for innate immunity, but also those for adaptive immunity. So T and B cells that you may have heard of, T and B lymphocytes are super important for adaptive immunity. And I have an extra credit option you can do looking into um, those more. So I don't think I said this, but the lymphatic system is, is, is um, responsible for immune function. So fighting off infection, Part of the immune system would actually then, it, it, immune system would be the skin, mucous membranes, all that stuff that's causing not just the, the white blood cells, but also the barriers for disease is all part of um, the immune system. Huge topic, right? Um, in terms of immune def defenses, immune responses, that's why the whole chapter in your book. So what I would like you to know about this is this here, 
describe the major structures and functions of the lymphatic system. And I've got here um, the list, and then these are two other cell types I mentioned, and just idea of immunity. That's what kind of we're talking about with the lymphatic system. And then lastly, I've got an option for an extra credit assignment. This is posted on the Google Doc that I have summarizing this as well. These are three separate options that are all related to immunity. One page summary of one of these, a summary of adaptive versus innate immunity, um, a summary of the basic biology behind vaccines. There's different types of vaccines, so contrast these different types or three, a summary of the COVID-19 vaccines, um, at least two resources. I've got two here that are just nice. You don't have to use these two, but these are two nice resources for how COVID vaccines work, which are typically RNA vaccines, which means, can't help, I'll tell you a little bit. Um, they have pieces of the RNA coding for a, a COVID protein, your body that makes the protein itself, mounts the immune response, um, the RNA and protein of the, the, the COVID do not last, but the antibody response um, of your body lasts and then can be mounted quicker next time. So that's what the RNA piece just means your body makes it into protein first before antigen presentation, which you will read about antigen presentation if you do one of these topics. You're welcome to choose a different immune topic if there's something else from the chapter um, from your book that interests you, let me know. Um, just want to make sure that if you want to learn more about the immune system, you can do this for extra credit. 